Thank you, Jerry. Now we have a video by a legend in country music, a man who was the biggest country act of the 70s, and an all-time ranking of artists on the chart, he's number two. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the great Merle Haggard. Tequila sunrise One for my aching head The other for my bloodshot eyes Last night we let it all hang out I guess the time my head got sore See, see water back I can't stand the pain No more Got invited to a party at the Jones's place For fun and games and booze and things I guess I must have drank a cake Well, I tell you, of mine, she drank more red wine Till she couldn't even find the door and she passed out time in bed And I wound up on the floor 18th Annual Academy of Country Music Awards. And the winner is? The winner is, are the good times really over? Merle is out in North Dakota tonight making some 20s. And uh, I know he had liked me to thank you. Nobody sings that song like the hag, and it was an honor for me to sing it. So uh, I'll get, make sure the hag gets this. I know he wants me to say thank you. Uh, did I get off the question? No, I, I, I was curious. I, was <laughs> I, I, love, I love your organic way. Uh, I was asking whether or not the, you, you, were, you were on the question, so you run off of it. You were starting to go a little deeper for me, which I appreciate. I was asking whether or not the condition of the world, with all this going on in the world, the complexity of the world, is making it easier or more difficult, easier in the sense that there's a lot more stuff to write about or more complex as a song, more difficult as a songwriter Both. because you're trying to make sense of all it's of it. It's easier and it's, it's easier more, and more complex. Difficult, right? it's, it's harder to... The wife and I, you know, try to keep track of the, of the royalty checks mm -hmm. and separate them. You know, are you a publisher? Are you a writer? Are you an artist? We get them from three different ways and they tax us in different manners. And it, it's overwhelming, just a little operation that I do, trying to keep our income straight. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it, it's a $10 check here and a $5,000 check there and you got to look at every one of them. So it's overwhelming, and, and today, in the world, we, we've never been in, in a situation where we've had this much intelligence under our belt. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll, we'll know more in the next three years than we've known since the beginning of time. Fishing, take him fishing, be his buddy while he's young. Time goes by so swiftly, don't blow it all again. Take him fishing, take him fishing, if you want him. I was young and so ambitious out to climb the ladder of success. Some might say I'd done it. I gave my family everything. I gave them everything but togetherness. Now kids grow up so fast that pretty soon they're gone. Off somewhere raising families of their own. So don't let there be a big long list 
of those little family outings that you missed. I never had time for pleasure. Now my sons are far away And I'm wishing I took them fishing Every day Oh my Lord in heaven <laughs> This is the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life, bro. Hold on, let me bring this up here I gotta yeah, show this dog. to Bear Oh man! Let yep. me hold it. Let me weigh it. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's about six. Wow. Six and a half. Oh, God, look at that. Ain't nothing to it, Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Wrangler, and he's one tough customer. He's hard to beat when he takes his seat, yeah. And when he says jeans, he means Wrangler. Wrangler. Wrangler style shows its stuff. Good looking. When the action's tough Here comes Wrangler And he's one tough customer And he knows what he likes When he sees it Wrangler. Ladies and gentlemen, once again Let's make welcome Miss Leona Williams And she's going to do a tune That she wrote herself entitled Dallas And if it's all right I'd like to sing with you All right All right Somebody had their eye on this town, yeah. and then it was a, it was a lot of a lot of great great things come out here over the years. You were a wonderful people. I'm proud of it. Yeah, I'm proud of this town. I'm proud of all the fine folks. Billy uh, helped me a lot, taught me a lot. Yeah. Have you ever heard the album where he does, where I'm doing Bob and he's doing? Yeah. I I haven't heard bits of it. It's one. Yeah. Really yeah. good. Yeah. Good. You didn't you write a song for Tommy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's yeah. not There's a town to take. Yeah. I was uh, 19 years old. <clears throat> Will Ray. Do you remember Will yeah. Ray? Yeah. 
Yeah. Will Rape. I don't know. I got my phone number or anything. He called me at home. And, and I didn't know much about anything, but I knew he had a bad reputation, and I knew he wasn't very good. And uh, he said, I'd like to hire you to play guitar with me. I said, where, where are you playing? He said, well, we're going to back up Tommy Duncan up in Hanford. <laughs> when he said that, I said, well, yeah, I'd, I'd like to do that. So we drove up to Hanford, and, and uh, he had a, had this big old band. There was nobody in the band that I recognized or and uh, it was an awful band, <laughs> absolutely awful. <laughs> and Tommy got on stage and did Deep Water. And when he got through with it, he walked over to me and paid me one of the greatest compliments I've ever had. And all through the years, nobody's ever said anything he meant as much. He said, Looks like we've got to do it ourselves. He said, he said, would you mind helping me get this? <laughs> and I just turned red all over. You know, just... <laughs> and... But he took him one song to identify yeah. it was the 13 people that was one. One guy on stage might be able to play. <laughs> and right now we're going to ask Johnny Gamble to come up here with his fiddle. And I'm going to get my violin. All right. And we're going to get the Ralph Sloan and the Tennessee Travelers to do a dance for you while I try to kick off, uh, what is it? Sally Gooden. Sally Gooden. <laughs> There is a question that I have asked countless times uh, on this show over the many years, and I only ask it of persons who I regard as great songwriters. So I've asked it many times, but not, not of that many people, because everybody I don't think is a great songwriter, um, my own assessment, but you are certainly one of them. So for you, what, make, what makes a great song? What, what makes a great song for you? Well, Amazing Grace is a great song. Everybody knows Amazing Grace. And that's what's supposed to happen. Everybody knows White Christmas. Mm -hmm. And uh, White Christmas, I think, is the number one, or close to it, 
single of all time. I think you're right about that. And it yeah. goes up every year, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> try, to, try to count it, those royalties. It was written It was written in 1940 at the Biltmore Hotel by Irving Berlin mm -hmm. on, a, on a hot August day, I think. <laughs> and he was actually dreaming about a white Christmas. And the next Christmas, which was 1941, Bing Crosby uh, recorded that. Mm -hmm. And they asked Bing, said, what do you think about that? He said, well, I think we've about got all that out of that. We got all that we can get out of that. Mm -hmm. And it went on to be the biggest single of all time. And uh, it probably won't, won't change. Mm -hmm. So it's got to resonate with people. Those are good examples, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Songs are not poetry. There's a difference. Uh, if you know you, the rappers are uh, are doing poetry mm -hmm. to rhythm, mm -hmm. but there's no melody. That's a, and you know I write a lot of poetry, and what poetry is is a song without a melody, mm -hmm. and it's uh, there's two different things there. A song is different from poetry. Yeah. And, I, I totally agree. I, I'd only add one thing. That these days, rappers aren't just guilty of that. Most songwriters these days don't know how to write a good melody. Yeah. That's true across the board. Amen. Yeah. All right, we'll Pray be on that. <laughs> <laughs> on the amen, I'll stop. <laughs> the new project from Merle Haggard, the latest project from Merle Haggard, is called Working in Tennessee. Uh, if you did not see the wonderful special done on him on PBS, uh, of course, he's a Kennedy Center honor. Uh, honor read now, uh, but if you didn't see the, the wonderful piece that PBS told him, go online to pbs.org, find it. Uh, you would not be disappointed. A great, great special um, about this wonderful artist, iconic artist, Merle Haggard. Sir, it's an honor to have you on this program. I'm delighted to have met you. Nice to be here. Glad Thank that you, you for come back anytime. Me, we'll come You're back. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's our show for tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, keep the faith. We'd like to thank Leona Williams, Jim Mundy, and also Ralph Sloan and the Tennessee Travelers and all the Sound 70s singers. We'd like to ask you to join us next week here at that National Music. Join us again next week for more of that Nashville music from the world-famous Grand Ole Opry House in Nashville, Tennessee.